Learning is moving out of the classroom. Whether it be as an emergency response to the pandemic or guided by a need to reach more students in remote areas, many of us are starting to lean out of the comfort zone of our classrooms. And even when our classrooms are already outdoors, school communities are starting to ask each other questions, tricky questions that don't really have one easy answer. There are a variety of questions. Conceptually, how do we reimagine teaching and learning in a new space? And physically, where is this space? Socially, how do we maintain a school community when there is no building to gather in? And culturally, how can we continue to connect students to culture? And underlying all of this are the emotional questions. How are we doing? How are our students and colleagues and ourselves doing during these times? Some of these questions may sound familiar and you may have different ones. I can guarantee you though, that all members of a school community are asking themselves questions like these right about now. And more than ever, in order to answer them, we need to focus on connection. It's an important value in Indigenous communities, and now is a really good time to remember it together with our students and colleagues. So back to the questions. How do we reimagine teaching and learning in a new space? When we talk about this together in conversation, we realize that we just don't have the energy to reimagine learning right now. But do we have to? It's still about connecting with our students, right? And that is right. We might need to learn some new skills, but relationship is still the bottom line. So a focus on relationship in order to strengthen emotional bonds. That brings us to that Indigenous value of connection that is so needed, especially now. So where is this space? That's a big one. Where is our school if we aren't in the building? Some of us use classroom or Teams or some other tools, but each teacher has their own way, just like when we were in the building. So what if we still had a central place where students could access teachers' remote spaces, something like a school or center website? A recognizable central place for students and colleagues to link to their learning and to each other? Once again, this helps to maintain and foster that value of connection. Socially, how do we maintain a school or center community when we aren't in a building? Our schools and centers aren't just about learning subjects. Yes, they are places where our students come to feel part of something bigger than themselves. Places like the lounge, the bulletin boards, even the laughter in between classes, all of those things occur like spontaneously. We don't really plan for it. So how can we keep this going remotely? For this, we'll need to be intentional, intentionally planning for social outreach and activities and doing that in collaboration with our colleagues and our students and community members. This type of work links us to that value of connection. Culturally, how can we continue to connect our students to culture? They choose our schools and centers because of that focus on culture that we have. And some of our cultural classes happen outdoors, on the land. How do we do that remotely? Is it even possible? It is possible. And if we talked about it with our students and colleagues, they could give us some ideas about how to do that as well. We don't need to do this on our own. We aren't responsible for solving all of the problems individually. And once again, we need to be intentional about it, intentionally planning for the remote sharing of cultural activities with our students is really important. This may need to be done via images or video, but still we need to do it right now, keeping our students connected to each other, to us, to culture, to land is incredibly important, even more so now than ever. And now for the emotional questions, how are we doing? We think about this a lot. Without the building, it's harder to check in with each other. And we're all worried about our students. When class is over, they're home alone. We need to plan to check in with them and with each other. Yes, we have to make time in our schedule just to be with each other, even though it is remote. And again, being intentional and planning for connection beyond the subjects we teach 
These things used to happen spontaneously in the classroom, those moments for connection. Now we need to plan for it. And luckily, at this period of time, there are so many tools and different technologies that we can use to do that. We just need to continue building on those kinds of connections. Our lives feel so different and our classrooms look so different right now, but we can do this. That's right. If we take the time to plan to maintain our connections and to even create new connections, we will absolutely get further, but together.